Um, John, could you give an assessment on, on what the White House's assessment is of the hunger crisis in Gaza? Um, we know from several aid groups that you know things yeah. could not be worse is the words that have been used, but what's the White House's uh, take on, on that right now? You know, we, we understand that um, the situation, the humanitarian situation in, in Gaza is, is dire, and specifically when it comes to food insecurity. Uh, we're mindful of that, which is why, again, you got Brett in the region right now. We're trying to do everything we can to get additional humanitarian pauses in place so that aid can get in. It is obviously designed to help us get hostages out, of course, but when you have a low in the fighting, man, you got to take advantage of that and you got to get more trucks in. And so we're very much focused on this. And that's why food is such a principal product of the humanitarian assistance that's going in. We're mindful, though, we're very mindful has that a lot of people are hungry. Has the White House seen reports that there are Palestinians who are um, trying to make flour out of animal feed at this point? Like, it is it is that level? We're, we're, we're mindful of the dire circumstances that some people are living in in terms of food insecurity there in Gaza, absolutely. Now, one of the things we talked about, I don't know, a week or so ago, was we had worked with the Israelis to, to open up the Ashdod, Ashdod port for the delivery, direct delivery into Gaza of flour, specifically because we know uh, how important flour and the ability to create meals from that uh, is to the, the people of Gaza. So we're very focused on this. Okay, thank you so much.